friends the given problem is evaluate integral 0 to infinite x to the power of 4 1 plus x to the power of 5 divided by 1 plus x all to the power of 15 dx okay to solve this problem first we have to identify this is like a gamma function or beta function is it uh, is there any exponential terms no so obviously it is the application of beta function friends we have a six to seven forms seven forms i think so we have for the transformation of beta function any one of them we have to use actually in the beta of m comma n we have a formula different formulas also we have first formula you see beta of m comma n is equal to we have integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 1 minus x all to the power of n minus 1 dx okay in this place if you are uh, substituted uh, x is equal to 1 by 1 plus t or x is equal to some values then you will have a standard form 1 that is beta of m comma n is equal to we have integral 0 to infinite x to the power of m minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of m plus n so this is the standard form 1 now we have to convert this problem into standard form 1 now the given problem just you split this one you see integral 0 to infinite now if you multiply it inside then what you will have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 9 divided by 1 plus x all to the power of 15 dx you split this one then what you are getting you see this is equivalent to integral 0 to infinite nothing but separate these terms x to the power of 4 by 1 plus x to the power of 15 into dx plus integral 0 to infinite x to the power of 9 by 1 plus x this is 1 plus x power 15 sorry into dx now these problems you compare these integrals are you compare with this beta of m comma n formula so x power m minus 1 1 plus x power m plus n form yes or no then you will get m and n if you are compare on both sides then you compare first integrand with this beta of m comma n what is m minus 1 you have that is 4 so what is m here 5 m is equal to 5 now what is m plus n here you have in the denominator 15 so from this what you can say n is 15 minus 5 that is nothing but 10 so now you have a this problem you can say in terms of beta of m comma n m is equal to 5 and n is equal to 10 that's it and what you can say this one here 0 to infinite x power 9 so this is x power m minus 1 form m minus 1 is equal to 9 then m is equal to what here 9 plus 1 is nothing but 10 m is equal to 10 next in the denominator m plus n you have but here you have 15 so m plus n is equal to 15 you consider then n is equal to 15 minus 10 nothing but here you have 5 so n is equal to what you have here 5 now this is what you can say this expression finally i am writing here integral 0 to infinite x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 9 by 1 plus x to the power of 15 dx is equal to beta of 5 comma 10 beta of 5 comma 10 plus beta of 10 comma 5 you see friends now it is a generally express in beta function means up to this is okay but uh, evaluate they are given you see evaluate so here also we have to use the relation between beta and gamma friends there we used only beta of m comma n formula expressing in this term but uh, in this case this is in advanced advanced case nothing but uh, just what we are doing here we are using the transformation of first form that is this one okay may they will ask in different way whatever it may be first standard form second standard form all are beta gamma only na? now anyway come to the problem now what is the formula we have the relation between beta and gamma that is beta of m comma m is equal to gamma m gamma n by gamma of m plus n friends this is very very important problem proof is very very important and gamma 1 by 2 proof is also very very important for the exams anyway you see m is integer here m and n both are integers so you can express this value is equal to this is the formula whenever you are writing the formula at least you will secure some score okay anyway gamma m is 5 gamma n is 10 by gamma of m plus n nothing but here 5 plus 10 i'll write step by step later i'll add now this is gamma 10 gamma 5 by gamma of 10 plus 5 okay now you have two times now two times totally two times of gamma 5 gamma 10 by gamma 15 nothing but this is equal two times of we have a, if n is an integer gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial when belongs to z plus case only this is n belongs to z plus n is an integer type oh, is it visible for everyone right now gamma 5 is nothing but 4 factorial gamma 10 is nothing but 9 factorial by gamma 15 is nothing but 
14 factorial. Now, this one, if you want to solve, you can use calculator also. Or else, sir, I know very well means, of course, you can try. But I am using calculator because I have the calculator. Of course, not only the latest version scientific calculator, you can use the general calculator also. You see, friends, this is general from first to mo uh, mod 1. That's okay. Now, you have to see, go for uh, divided by symbol you have. So, division. What do you have here? 2 into first 4 factorial. 2 here I am writing 2 times of. In the numerator what I have? 4 factorial. 4. Factorial symbol is where I have x inverse. So that is in yellow color. So you see I will show you. Is it visible friends? So x inverse power you see you have here x factorial. That is in yellow color. So press shift button and x inverse. Then it gives 4 factorial. You see is it visible? Into into no need to write here. Into next 9 factorial. 9 factorial is nothing but here. again shift x inverse divided by what you have 15 factorial 14 factorial what do you have here 14 factorial so 1 4 shift x inverse now you press is equal button here you are getting a something error one moment in the program if it is error came is nothing but uh, we are done some mistake but here you observe uh, in the program means we are done any symbolical mistakes only i will tell you two times of 4 factorial into 9 factorial press cross button that is nothing but into Right now you check it. Yes, we got the answer. That is, this value is equal to 1 by 5005. That's it. This is the answer. Is it clear for everyone? Right. Next problem we are solving. Evaluate integral 0 to infinite x to the power of 8 into 1 minus x to the power of 6 divided by 1 plus x to the power of 24 dx. Okay. This is also similar problem. Right. In the next video, we will discuss.